Hey there, how you doing? So, I'm sure you take a post-workout protein supplement, or you've heard the importance of post-workout protein. Well, what we're gonna do, whether you take one or not, which you should be, and I'll explain why in a minute, is we're gonna figure out how to take about 20 quick, quick seconds, 20 quick seconds, to see what kind of quality our post-workout protein supplement actually is. All right, it doesn't even have to be post-workout, just what kind of quality supplement is your protein supplement. But first, I'm just pointing out, I'm sure you're checking it out, my brand new Chuck Norris poster right here. Yeah, I just had to show that off. I know you're jealous. Um, you should go go Google that and uh, pick, pick yourself up a Chuck Norris poster. Everyone needs one, duh. Anyways, <laughs> protein. How do we tell if our protein supplement is high quality or not? And before we get to that, let's first off, do you take a post-workout protein supplement? Which you should. Because I actually read studies that, they did studies on two sets of people. They had group A, who work out, eating, no protein. Group B, same workout, same eating, and utilize a post-workout protein supplement. And the results they found were that group A, so all the people that didn't take a post-workout supplement, they only achieved half the results as group B, who, again, everything was the same. The nutrition was the same, the workouts were the same. The only difference was that post-workout shake, and they got twice the results. Now, crazy, right? So what does that mean? It means that by not taking a post-workout protein shake, you're essentially, in a year's time, so 12 months from now, you're only gonna be reaping about six months benefit. Like, that's crazy. So you're only gonna be getting about half of the results that you deserve and you've earned because you're not utilizing a post-workout protein shake. Okay, so if you're not taking one, highly suggest you go and start taking one. And since we're on the topic, so when do I take it? Well, since for us, our main goal is gonna be body toning, burning fat, getting that lean, sexy stomach that we all want and everyone loves to look at, the best time to take your post-workout protein shake would be about 45 to 60 minutes after the end of your workout. I'll explain why in a second. Now, if you ask anyone, they're gonna say, oh yeah, you need to take your post-workout protein shake like immediately after, after your workout, within 15 minutes of getting done with your workout. And that's totally true. If your goal is to gain muscle and build muscle, if you're trying to build muscle, absolutely different style of workout than weight loss people workouts. So if you're trying to gain muscle, yeah, 50, within 15 minutes after your workout is great. But if you're trying to burn fat, get that lean, shredded look, you know, tone your body, and you're doing the correct style of workouts to achieve that, those high intensity interval training style of workouts, you know, which boosts your metabolism and puts your body into that fat burning mode, then you wanna wait 45 to 60 minutes to take that post-workout shake. The reason why is because when you get done again with those high intensity interval training style of workouts, your body's, the metabolism's boosted, your body's already in fat burning mode. So your body, your metabolism's going around, scooping up the little fat cells and chopping their heads off. It's utilizing the fat in the body, burning up the, the fat we don't want, like what we're trying to lose, while we're doing these workouts. And so by immediately consuming that post-workout shake, you're kind of putting that foreign object in the body which tells it, like, hey, stop scooping up the fat cells and bopping them on the head, and now I want you to start utilizing this protein that I've just given you. You gotta start utilizing this protein I've just taken in. And so it kind of puts the fat burning on the back burner, and now the body's main focus is to utilize the protein which you just introduced into the body. And so, Ideally, we're waiting 45 to 60 minutes after our workout to get that protein shake in. To, that way we don't kind of cut, cut ourselves short, if you will, from um, boosting metabolism and burning up all that fat. Okay, so now that we know we need a protein shake and why we need it and when to take it, let's find out how in about 20 seconds we can tell the quality of our protein supplement. It's extremely easy to do. We're gonna go to the whiteboard. All right, so how to tell protein supplement quality in about 20 seconds, and you can do this with any kind of protein. Like any kind of protein supplement, it's extremely, extremely easy. And I have some here, which we're gonna be using as an example. It's just some here. 
So what we're going to do, alright, so you want to take the total grams per serving. So at the very top of the nutrition label, you're going to see total grams per serving. And we'll try to get a zoom in on this in a minute. So this one, serving size is 2 scoops, total grams is 38 grams. Okay, so total grams per serving, and it was 38 grams. Okay, so we have a total of 38 grams going on per serving of protein with this particular supplement. And then we're going to go down the nutrition label and we want to find the total fat grams, the total carbohydrate grams, and the total protein grams. And if you know how to add simple numbers and subtract, you can probably do this in your head in like even faster than 20 seconds. 20 seconds is, yeah, probably on the slow end, but who knows? Maybe you need to use your phone like I do. I don't know. Anyways, so, so total fat. In this one, we got two grams of total fat. So total grams fat will be F. We got two Gs. Two grams. Let's go down to carbs, total carbs, which we'll put total grams C for carbs was eight grams. So eight grams of total carbs. And then finally, for protein, total grams of protein is 24 grams. So we got total protein grams. Grant, grant, so it, you try spelling on camera. It's not very easy. Words and stuff. Total grams of protein, well, it was 24. So 24 grams of protein. Okay, so now we got the basics. We have the Again, total grams per serving, which would be 38. Total grams of fat, which would be two. Total grams of carbohydrates, which would be eight. And total grams of protein, which would be 24. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add these up. We're gonna add up the fats, the fat grams, carbohydrate grams, and protein grams. So we're gonna add those up, and that is gonna equal 10 and 24, 34 grams total. Okay, so now, we know the total grams of fats, carbs, and proteins add up to 34 grams total. So what we do is this. We have now have total grams per serving, which is 38. Total grams of the fats, the carbs, and the proteins, which is 34. We're going to subtract 34, the, the sum of the carbs, fats, and proteins grams from the total amount per serving grams, which 38 minus 34 equals 4 grams. Okay, so great. We just did a little math. Now we have a number that says four. We have four grams. What does that mean to me? Okay, so look at scale. And what we're going to do is grab something to kind of, no, nope, we don't need to wipe anything off. We have more space over there. So what we're going to do is on this scale, what our scale says is between one and five grams difference. So the total grams per serving minus the total grams of carbs, fats, and proteins, whatever that number is, whatever that equals, so our four grams in this example, between one to five grams is excellent. So one to five grams, excellent. That's definitely what we want to shoot for. So five or below is amazing. It's amazeballs. That's what we want. But don't worry. From six to ten grams, is really good. It's a high quality protein. Is it excellent? No, but it's really good. So if you have a supplement right now and it's between six and ten, that's good. You're in good shape. Stick with it. Unless you, you know, you want the excellent one, then obviously go get the excellent one. And then anything over ten, so or eleven to more <laughs> grams equals bad. So that equals bad. You do not want to be taking that. It's packed full of fillers and a bunch of stuff that your body's not going to be wanting. You don't want to put that in your body. It's just basically fillers, full of filler. So it's not quality, it's less quality. So remember, on our scale, after we do that quick 20 second little math equation, between 1 and 5 grams is excellent. Between 6 and 10 grams is really good. Anything over 10 grams, so 11 and above, eh, try to stay away from that. Um, and yeah, again, the whole thing takes about 20 seconds to do because you just add, or 
Take one number, subtract three other numbers from it, boom, done, and there you go. So now we just found out why we need protein, when to take protein, and or protein after our workout for if our main goal is weight loss and body toning, fat burning, if you will, and how to tell if we have an excellent, a good, or a not very good protein supplement.